Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm here to share a friend mail that I got, I picked up this morning um, from my friend Victoria. And Victoria was my 300 subscriber giveaway winner. And she evidently sent me something back, which Jewel, Victoria, you really did not need to do, but it's very, very sweet and thoughtful of you. I'm gonna cover her address. So this is the package that she sent me. And look on the back, it says, Happy Holidays. Now, I don't know how long this has been at the post office. I was there a week ago, so obviously sometime in the last week. I'm not exactly sure when. Um, so I'll go ahead and I brought out the big gun scissors today. Look at these babies. These are fabric shears that I got on Amazon a while back. And they cut really well. They were worth the money. And they weren't that expensive. I don't even remember what they were. I don't know why expensive, so it couldn't have been much. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is staying safe. And not being too troubled by all the things in the news. Which I can only take for so much and then I have to turn it off. I'm not... I'm not not watching all that. Oh, it, it felt like something soft and squishy, and it is. I see yarn. I see something made with yarn. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I have never had anybody give me a stocking before. This is the cutest. Look, oh, Victoria, you did not need to send me this, but I really appreciate it. I love it. Look, I'm hanging that up in my living room every year. I fill it for myself if I have to. Not that that would be a problem. Lots of small craft items could fit in here. So, let me take a look. There are things inside, and it's got a nice lining, folks. Look at that. Did you make this? Victoria, did you make this? I don't know if she did or not. If she did, she's way more crafty than me. Okay, let's see what's in it. I feel this, so I will pull this package out. Oh, she wrapped everything up so beautifully. Look at this. And look at the little charms. And look. Red barn wrapping paper with the red truck. Oh, I'm saving that. Or it's a bag, I think. I'm saving that. I can cut that up. And then there is this package. I feel something down at the bottom. Victoria, you didn't, this is so sweet of you. This is a little goodie bag full of wooden buttons and there's some washi. So let me open that up. Look at this little bear. How cute is he? I love cabochons and flat back buttons. I use them all the time in my work. Will not sit on a shelf, absolutely not. Oh, these are little bears out in the snow throwing snowballs at each other. Oh, how cute is that? Adorable. Thank you so much. There's a stamp in here, and it's a floral stamp. Looks like a sunflower. So I'll be trying that out and coloring those in. Oh, look. There's another little sunflower stamp. She's been listening. She knows I, uh, sunflower is my favorite flower ever. Mm, I love them. Oh, there's bunny and heart buttons, little birds, butterflies, owls, more bears. This blue one. Thank you so much for sharing. Look at these little owls. They're so cute. 
I love the floral ones. There's a bunch of these in different colors and hearts in different colors. Perfect for Valentine's. Some little birds. And some buttons like this that have, oh, I can't get my fingers wrapped around it. I don't have that dexterity anymore, I guess. Some round buttons that have little flowers and different designs on them. Thank you so much, Victoria. This is so thoughtful of you to put together for me. It means a lot to me that you would do this. So sweet. Okay, so the, uh, what will I open next? I will open this next. sewn well I mean she sewed it by machine but she made this look at this look at this look at this decoration on the front look at that little tassel and a flower on the front and then I guess you open it let me see yeah there's little snaps on the ribbon that you open it oh no way these are similar, this is similar to the journal that Joyce um, made me and I've shown her her work on here. So this is the fabric that is on the front and back and here is the little ribbon with the snaps for you to open it. This is the first page. There's a little sewn pocket and there are cards. A piece of like tissuey paper decorated. I can glue that right in my books, right in my journals. <gasps> little card that I can color in or do whatever I want. And then over here on this side, there is this little love stamp and this little ticket. Over here is another pocket and a side pocket with a pullout. Oh, that's a piece of vellum. Decorated vellum. I have the worst time finding that. Thank you. It's hard to find here. Oh, and in this little pocket on the this side, it's a little like sheer burlap flower in blue. Thank you. Oh, over here I think something no, that doesn't pull out. Okay. <gasps> Sunflowers. <laughs> Thank you. That's beautiful. Oh, and look, it's a flap. So it folds out. Look at that. I want you to teach me how to make this, Victoria. Can we um, Zoom or FaceTime one day and you can help me learn how to make these? In this pocket... Oh, it's little dog valentines and cats. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Adorable. I am such an animal lover. And then what's inside here. I love this house paper. And she hand tore it instead of cut it. And I think that adds such a nice textural look. I, I do that a lot in my work. Oh, and inside this little anchor, it's like a little slide in pocket. There are all these little pieces of paper that I could use. They're so pretty. Thank you. Wow, that's a, such a clever idea. How did you think that up? And then there's an envelope. The envelope she folded over. So it's not this size of an envelope. It's this size of an envelope. It goes all the way back. So all I almost didn't see it. All the way in the back, tucked in. 
are some little treasures. Whoops. Some little sheer printed papers. Some little cards. Other little cards. Just, I mean, wow. Thank you so much for sharing with me. I love this little ticket one. I have a thing for tickets. I don't know why. I guess because I've always loved attending movies at the movie theater. And I also um, went to a lot of concerts with my boyfriends in my teens. And my father played professional French horn in the symphony. And so I got to see things like the Joffrey Ballet and the Nutcracker and things like that. Um, things that enriched my art life um, for free because he was allowed to bring me for free. So I've seen a lot of things. Um, theater wise and I always kept my ticket stubs that was always something I did and I still have a box full of them I didn't I didn't never get rid of them so I have ticket stubs from seeing the Eagles and Led Zeppelin and Elton John when I was like 15 I had still have the ticket stubs so here on this next page is what this looks like there's like some craft paper here decorated and this is a little pocket here I love how this this decoration here that she used looks like wallpaper. I mean, it's not wallpaper, but I love the look of that. It looks like wallpaper. Don't mind Hazel. She sees something out the window. I'm very sorry. The next page might very well be wallpaper. It has a lot of texture to it. It feels like cloth. Oh, stuff's falling out. Sorry. This is a little pocket here. The next page she put this paper and again, I love this pattern with the roses. I just bought, excuse me, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I just bought a bunch of um, beads yesterday with rose patterns on them. Um, I got them on clearance for 80% off, so I paid nothing for them. So on this last page, is that, no, this is not the last page. So on this next page, tucked in here, how did she think of all these things? Was this card... You're so creative, Victoria. You should have your own YouTube channel. And I can slip things on this side. And that might be where this fell out of. I think it is. She put these cards for me. Look at that. How thoughtful. Oh, I love this. It says the best. And there's butterflies on the back. And she mach machine stitched this little pocket. Look at that. That's darling, and I love butterflies and dragonflies. They are just, I love them. Thank you. Okay, so let me see what else. This next page, look at this. This is beautiful paper, and so is this. This is, this is either a sticker or she, no, I think she cut it with those shape scissors, and I have a set of those too. And then there's this little card glued down with the flowers. I mean, seriously, I have a sewing machine that has dust on it. I need to get it out and I need to start using it and making little things like these. I just, I adore them. So over here, there's another little side pocket, corner pocket. And she's put in a little tag, happy holidays. Aw, thank you. The holidays were very hard for me without my daughter. And I had been ill with my sinuses for a long time. And we didn't go to my brother's for Thanksgiving or Christmas, which Sean and I have been doing for most of his life. He, he turned 17 on Christmas. And um, we didn't go because of COVID and all the health conditions that I have. It's just kind of too risky. And so I was really down over Christmas, which is why I wasn't, I wasn't on video, on camera. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Um, so the bittersweet holidays. You know, I love, I love Christmas, but it was also hard for me this year. Harder than usual, I think, because we didn't hold up our routine of family visits. So on the last page, there is 
these floral pieces on the craft paper. And over here is a fabric pocket with little things in it. This is like a little piece of faux leather, vinyl fabric. Oh, and just some little permit tickets. I love those. And I love the fabric on this last page. Look at those colors. Right up my alley, Victoria. Oh, sweetie, this is just too nice. I mean, oh, and this must have fallen out from somewhere. Yes, because when I opened one of the pages, things started falling out. Look at that vintage card. Excuse me. And on the other side. Oh, Teresa, I mean, I'm saying Teresa because I was with Teresa yesterday. Thank you, Victoria, so much. I really, really appreciate the heart and thought and time you put into this. It means a lot to me. All of these things. Oh, I forgot I still have another one to open. I'm so, so tickled with the other things. I forgot about this. Okay, I'm going to open it. I don't know if I can untie it without hurting the trim with all the beads. Yes, I was able to. Okay, so there's this. It's got keys on it. And it's a little notch pocket. Oh, goodies. Look at these. Oh, it's a, like a little bookmark booklet. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's a letter. Nuh uh. She's very creative and crafty. Okay, so look, so this is the cover. This is the interior cover. Look at how beautiful that is. There's an owl here. And when you fold and sunflowers. And when you fold it up, there's a letter from her. And I won't show that on camera. I'll read that off camera. And then on the back, this print. Wow. Just wow. Oh. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, such a sweetheart. Thank you. And I'm opening the last thing. And this has penguin and polar bear washi. The kind of washi that she gave me. So I'll just peel that and try to save this bag. Oh, wow. She says she sent these things. Um, I just read one sentence in the, in the letter. So she sent these things not because she won a giveaway, but because she just enjoys my videos so much. You don't have any idea how much that means to me, Victoria. Uh, I just really, really uh, appreciate that. So in this little bag, she made this bag topper with sunflowers on it. And I wonder if I can get that off without ripping it. Maybe if I go from the bottom. Because I'll save that and put that in my journal with your name on it. Thank you. <gasps> uh -uh. Look at these little, oh my gosh, I love birds so much. These craft embellishments, um, if they're flat back, are usually called cabochons. And I have a whole bunch of these in, in little, you know, storage containers separated out. And I don't have any birds like this. I have some little wooden birds, nothing like this. They're beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Could have just sent me those birds and I would have been a happy camper. And then... There's this little fruit envelope. I love that. I'm gluing that in a journal. That's the cutest ever. Oh, and inside there's little fruit papers. A stack of them. Oh, thank you. Where do you find all these things? I know you live in Washington State. They must have some good stores there. I know a lot of these things you made, but still you would have had to buy the supplies somewhere. Wow. Oh, look at this. 
This is darling. It's got little presents on it. And it's a tag with a pocket. Oh, what's this? Oh, a frog and a dragonfly stickers. Oh, it opens up. It opens up. It's not just a pocket. Oh. There are all kinds of goodies in there. Look at this darling mouse. Flowers in my favorite colors. Tags. Just all kinds of things in here. Wow. Pineapple. Florals. Grapes. Oh, and look at the beautiful paper in there. Wow. You know I can't I can't use these things because I don't want, I don't want them to disappear. I mean, well, I will glue the whole thing in one of my books. I will take the stickers out and use them. They are just darling. Okay, so also in that pack was this North Pole Santa Claus. Cute little envelope. And wait, there's more inside. Oh, she colored these? Did she color these? Did you color these, Victoria? Okay, first, before those things, are these little, like, cut-aparts? Look how darling they are. Look at this. Oh, they are just darling. Oh, I was such a doll girl. When I was a little girl, I just played with my dolls all day long for hours. Look at this dog. <laughs> Ginger's Adventures. I'll bet she has some too. Dragonflies. Oh my gosh. This is just overwhelming me. Little Bobo the Elephant book. Looks like the cover of a little golden book. Look at that. I mean, they're all just darling. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, so there's those in there, and then there's these in there. Well, she, I guess she didn't color them. She fussy cut them out of paper. Chandelier. These little princess girls are darling. I'm always cutting out little paper dolls, little girls, out of catalogs magazines, anything I can find. Look at this one. <laughs> and there's fruit. I love watermelon. And this dish. Wow. Thank you so much, Victoria. Wow. I'm not even done yet. Okay, so there's this. Beautiful bird. Again, I love birds. I have all kinds of aviary books and different things about birds. Some of them I use for reference. Some I cut up if they were dollar store books or whatever. I don't want to tear this. Let's see if I can get it out without tearing it. Okay. Oh, it's postcards. Oh, I buy postcards a lot for their value as journaling cards. Look how beautiful these are all bird postcards. I love the cardinal. I love them all. Really, I do, honestly. I'm so blessed. This is the last item I'll open this package. And it is chock full of goodies. Oh, there's this little stencil set. I don't have this little Woodlands animal one. Look, owl, fox, and raccoon, a little birdie. Oh, it says little friends. They're so cute. Thank you. Oh, a mixed media cutting die. Wow, and it's it's little keys. Can you see that? Little keys. Wow, 
I can't wait to try that. Spellbinders. Awesome. Oh, look at the Owly stickers. Oh, thank you. So cute. Look at all the colors. They come in such beautiful colors. Wow. And then, let's see what else. Oh. These are uh, 124 piece sticker pack. Express yourself letters and numbers. I love that print. And it shows you on the back that you get all the uppercase letters and the numbers. I can really use these. I use a lot of these in my in my journals, my art journals and my journal journals. Thank you. And this last pouch she sewed. So there's like alphabet paper on one side. And look at this gorgeous paper. Look at that. Does that say okay? So it said daily, it says Daniel something. Let's see what's in it. Girl, where do you get this talent from? And why have you not started a YouTube channel? Just look at this. Just look at this. She made this. There's beads on here. These little banner actually moves. And does it say something down here? That I can't read? When you love what you have, you have everything you need. And isn't that true? I have such good friends and people that support me. I do have everything I need. On the back, she tied on this little tag. And there's this little, looks like, makes it look like fence. And it says, discover, adventure, journey, together, travel. Oh, I treasure this. I really, really do. And in with that, she has tucked some cards. This one has lines on one side and this print on the other. Oh, look at these. Some little postcards. Some mini little vintage looking postcards. Thank you. Oh, I will always use ephemera. Always. Oh, and then she's got some of these. Well, I thought they were butterfly cards. But on the back, on the, or I guess this is the front, there's like little postcard pictures. Sand and surf. A moment to explore. And let's get away. Victoria, I, you know, I, I'm just overwhelmed. Really, I am. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, I just, I, I just, I'm speechless, really. And you don't find me that way often because I talk a lot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you so, so much. I don't want to lose anything. I'm making sure there's no little pieces out. And I'll, I'll check that after the video. So I make sure I didn't miss um, any little pieces. Thank you so much, Victoria, and I really appreciate um, that you enjoy my videos. That means the world to me, and thank you so much for sharing your little gifts of appreciation. I just, I just can't even say how much it means to me. Thank you so much, and thank you everyone for watching and sharing my delight in what Victoria sent me. Uh, my next upcoming video will be a product review of the pro the pro the Sprocket Instant uh, Portable Printer. Um, it prints two by three photos right off of your phone um, from your camera roll or your social media accounts, and they are adhesive. You just peel off the backing and stick them in your journal and go. And I saw it on a YouTube channel called Pocket Journal Pam. She uses one all the time. I recommend her channel, Pocket Journal Pam. She does just the most delightful pages and journals. And she shares, you know, unboxings and things like that. She just, I, I delight in her work. And when she showed that sprocket, 
I had never seen anything like that before. And it comes, you know, it's Hewlett Packard, but it comes in other brands. Other companies have their own version, but um, I wanted the one that she has because I've seen for myself how it prints and I don't know the quality of the other ones. It also got great reviews on Amazon and I got an Amazon gift card for Christmas from someone and so I spent it on a sprocket. So I will bring that video forward um, sometime this week. And until then, I hope everyone's well and I'll see you. Thank you so much, Victoria. Bye everybody.